everybody. We're going to do some Mr. E says, you know, it's been a long time since I posted something, especially about boxing. But hey, I had to put my hand in this one, guys, because here comes the fight of all fights. <clears throat> the one we've been calling for all this time. Is it going to happen? Will it ever happen? Will it ever happen in my lifetime, God? These guys are going to fight when they're like fucking 50. Might as well have fought when they were 50. I'm talking about the big one, baby. Don't. Don't. Yeah. Money Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. You know, this is still a sexy fight. You know, a lot of people are talking shit saying, oh, these guys are past their prime. No, they're not. Because these guys can still whip pretty much everybody in the division still. Honestly. This is why I see it. You know, with Floyd, you know, uh, especially in the first Madonna fight, I saw him slipping a little bit. A little that Madonna was getting to him. He was having problems with a, with a smaller, fast fighter. And that is what Manny Pacquiao is. You know, he's getting up there in age, but he's still very fast and still very dangerous. But you know what? I really miss the old Manny Pacquiao. The old Manny Pacquiao that we thought was invincible. Remember? We thought he was a fucking devil. And he was knocking motherfuckers out left and right. Not just beating guys, but I'm saying decisively destroying them. The way he beat up Cotto. The way he fucking killed Margarito and made him fucking feel the pain. Those were beautiful moments. The way he made Ricky Hatt look like he died in the ring. Those moments. Now, those are long gone. Last fight was against Chris Algieri. I cannot believe I actually went to a bar and paid to watch that fight. It was unbelievably suckable. It was a pure ass sparring fucking session. And I want my money back, seriously. That's right for this fight. It's $100. I'm not going to pay for it. I've actually got my own ways of watching it. And I'm not going to pay for it. I hope all of you do too. I'm not boycotting the fight like Keith Olbermann says. You know, because Keith Olbermann, he's almighty and he knows all sports. And well, we should we should definitely boycott because Floyd Mayweather's a woman beater. And he's done all this shit. And he set children on fire. And he's fucking did sacrifices and all this. No, you know what? Fuck you, Keith Olbermann. You're not going to tell me what the fuck to do. You know what? Fuck you, dude. When's the last time you were fucking relevant? You're going to be in your mansion sitting there eating your fucking Cheetos. Watching the fucking fight just like everybody else. You're not fooling me, motherfucker. Why don't you go back to your little stupid ass fucking show about politics and leave the sports alone? I don't care about what you got to say. But seriously, it is expensive. I mean, for that price, I hope they have all kinds of shit. Okay, I hope uh, they have a fucking Bigfoot show before the start. I hope they have big ass ring entrances like the wrestling shows. I hope they have like, uh, you know, people interfering in the matches. No, I'm just playing. I'm playing table ladders and chairs. Shit like that. Just crazy boxing style. You know, I don't know. For a hundred bucks, man. Come on, bro. Seriously. Come on. I'm a working man. It better be good for 100 bucks, and that's why I'm not paying for it. Let's get back to the fight real quick, okay? So here it comes. You know, Manny Pacquiao, like I said before, I used to like the old Manny Pacquiao, the one, yeah, he was a fucking killer. Yeah, he used to fucking probably do cocaine. He used to fucking do, you know, he, you know, he, you know, he was on HGH. You know, he was on all that shit because he has not knocked motherfuckers out like that since. I mean, I am not going to discredit Manny Pacquiao, okay, for all his victories. But I think a lot of them are tainted. Okay, and the way he beat guys is unbelievable. The way he came up in the ranks, from the size he was, when I saw him fight on the undercard of the Mike Tyson-Lennox Lewis fight, it's unbelievable how big he got. And the way he beat guys that were way bigger than him. So finally the fight's made. You know, uh, you know, there's Manny, you know, with his crazy-ass fucking wife ringside, and she's slaying chicken heads, and she's going, blah, 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 blah. How does Manny Pacquiao stay with that bitch? Seriously. I feel bad for Manny Pacquiao. He probably has to go, he has to walk a straight line, you know. He goes from the gym and has to walk a straight line home, probably praying his ass all the way fucking home. He gets his wife, kiss his wife's ass for the rest of the night. That's the way it is for Manny Pacquiao now. So he's not the killer anymore. Well, maybe, maybe technically that might make him a little bit of a killer now. I'd have no idea. And then there's Money Made where they're all counting all this cash. The rumor in Vegas is that nobody likes the motherfucker because he's such a fucking douchebag. It's the honest truth, guys. You see the way he is in this fucking... That guy's a fucking dick. Seriously, you know what? I want Manny Pacquiao to win this fight. But that's not who I'm picking. I want Manny Pacquiao to literally knock fucking Floyd Mayweather into next fucking week. I want him to kill, like, literally kill Floyd Mayweather dead on the floor, like, fatality, like, fucking Mortal Kombat style. Just fucking dead. Like, a fatality, like, his fucking head comes off, some shit like that. Fucking ends up in the front row... Fucking a Manny's fucking wife. Manny's wife is like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And fucking Floyd's head's right there on her lap. Something like that. Some crazy shit. Nah, I'm just playing, guys. I'm not, I don't want anything like that. But that's not going to happen, seriously. As much as we all want it, 
Because I know about maybe 87% of you motherfuckers want Floyd to get knocked the fuck out. But like fucking seriously hurt. This is what's going to happen. I'm going to tell you the honest fucking truth, guys. This is the truth. I'm going to say in the eighth round, it's getting good. I think the fight will be very competitive. It will be close. But in the eighth round, Manny's going to get a little bit anxious, just the way he did with Marcus. He's going to come in there with some crazy dumb shit the way he does all the time. But this time in front of him is not Chris Algieri, no. It's Floyd fucking douchebag Mayweather. So guess what's going to happen, guys? Floyd's going to dodge him, land a fucking counter, straight on the face, night-night for Manny. All the prayers in the world from his wife, and not going to matter. All the chicken heads cut off in the ring is not going to matter. Floyd will win in the eighth round. As much as I hate to fucking say it, because he's such a fucking piece of shit, I hate that guy. You know, I can't. I, what I hate the most is when Floyd walks in the ring with his whole entourage, the fucking big guys like, the fucking, fucking tough and shit. And then fucking right next to Floyd, fucking jacking him off, is fucking Justin fucking Bieber, dude. Seriously, dude. Seriously. I heard Justin Bieber wants to box. Justin Bieber, you know what? Let's fucking trade. Look, you trade and I'll trade and I'll fucking fight you in the ring and I'll knock you the fuck out. Okay? Put you in a dress just like the way you really deserve to be because you're a little bitch. Pretty much all I got, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Prediction. Floyd. In the eighth round by knockout. For Cal. Come on.